Uh, guess what? Huh. Jim's turning 40. Ooh. Yeah. Is that what? so? And the, you the all, the big 4 0. The big 4-0, and you all have been invited to his birthday party. Uh, so a magic envelope appears in each of your hands with a little purple seal that's got Jim's mark on it. It says, you are cordially invited to attend a murder. <laughs> I, Jim, will be hosting a murder mystery party at my home in Baldur's Gate. You are invited to attend this event and help solve the case of my untimely demise. We will start the evening with hors d'oeuvres and mingling, followed by a spectacular dinner prepared by my personal chef. <laughs> After dinner, you will find me dead... And it will be upon you to determine which of my guests is the murderer. I shall endeavor to play the best corpse I can, but you'll have to excuse the occasional chortle as you stumble through my clues. Magically yours, Jim. So you arrive in an alleyway with a dead end, but there's sort of a brick arch in the wall. Uh, the three of you are there with your invitations, and you notice that there's a fourth person there who's arrived at about the same time. I, I sear him. I sear him with scorching light <laughs> <laughs> from the heavens. You notice that he also has an invitation. I wait a moment. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. All right, well, you know me. I do? You do. You've met me. You. Do I have another sister? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that how this works? Uh, at Jim's front door, you are greeted by uh, who you know to be his intern, um, Diz Iberon. He's a young kid, very excitable, wild hair. Oh. This is Diz. Wow. You had that with you? Yeah, I always carry always this. Always carry <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh, my God. He loves Jim. He's very excited to see you guys. <laughs> How long is this young man for this world? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, uh, Jim's really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. You're the last ones to arrive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead you in right now. There's going to be hors d'oeuvres, some mingling. You can meet the other guests. It's going to be fantastic. Come on in. <laughs> Diz leads you into the study. Uh, I'm sorry, not necessarily, but like his foyer, right? And you yeah. can see that there's a couple other guests there. And yeah. it's, it's mingling time. You guys are free to approach any of these guests and, uh, and mingle. <clears throat> I'm going to go sidle up to, uh, is, it, is it Mrs. or Miss Albert? It is Ms. That's great news. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I sidle over. Hello, honey. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I wanted this to start. <laughs> I say, I say, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I guess you'd say Jim's boss. You're Omen, uh, yes, I've heard stories about you. Oh, what, what kind of stories? Like how, please relate them to me in a uh, word for word, uh, detailed manner. <laughs> well, just how fortunate you are to have Jim around. Mm. Mm hmm Can I get you anything from the trays? I would love a sausage. <laughs> a big, <laughs> thick one. <laughs> It's been a long time. <laughs> Viari, what are you guys doing at this little shindig? That's hooray. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, I wasn't, since the only one that we haven't really met so far is... Oh, uh, yes. Kira. Yeah, she's, uh, I, I'll kind of wander over and I'm like, hey, do you want to wanna get out of here? <laughs> Maybe later. I'm, hmm. I'm here for the party and oh, I'm yeah, excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see Jim. It's been a long time. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Viari. I, uh, I, I work with Jim. Oh, very nice to meet you. I, I knew Jim a while ago. We dated for a little bit. It didn't, it didn't work out. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I... How uh, could it? <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. That's yeah. too bad. He's a, he's a great guy. He is a great guy. He wanted more from the relationship than I was ready to give as a professional assassin. Oh. My time, you know, was very valuable, and I couldn't give as much to him as he wanted. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up <laughs> just as far as you need to, so that that whole attack of opportunity thing is not. I, an I issue. see you stepping away. It's, I'm, I am on business, not here. I, I have a job currently to kill one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. This oh. is just sort of a side thing. I, I happen to be in town. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Well, that's good work if you can get it. It is. I don't think it will be difficult. He's sort of a buffoon. Oh, I, I hear that about a lot of them, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know people in Waterdeep if you ever need any intel. Or... Oh, I know exactly where he is. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got anything? Pathos is still sort of wondering why you're here. 
He's asking me why I'm here? Yeah, why are you still standing next to me, dwarf? <laughs> well, how can I put this gently? I don't trust you. You have, oh. you have the stank of evil on you. I understand. It's, it's because I'm a necromancer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, might be. <laughs> well, there's no reason why we can't be cordial about it and friends about it. Certainly, I, I can think of many things to do with a dwarf skeleton. <clears throat> okay, this ends, this, with, is... this ends with them fucking, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the arc. That's how this ends. I just do this and back away. <laughs> like around a corner, like. Yeah. <laughs> I do one of those things where it's like the wall, and I just kind of go. All right, and as you leave, you know, it's 1473, all right. Necrobancers have their time now. Oh, that's the year? <laughs> I, I, thought he was, <laughs> I thought he was giving me my, his room number. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's 1473. I'm also, I'm another kind of necro. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can get a corpse up to 1473. Wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That got dark. It fast. did get dark. Yeah. You I'm sick. bring a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, you hear Diz. Uh, and he says, glad everyone's getting along so well. I'm really excited. And uh, I'm going to go get Jimmy's in his study. I'll be right back. Thanks, uh, Jizz. <laughs> Diz. 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 Oh. Diz. It's Diz. It's Diz. Oh. It's Diz. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Do Order then. <laughs> and at that point, uh, Diz takes his leave. That's Diz great is gone, though. but if you'd yeah. like to talk to anybody else in the room, you have a couple minutes. Well, I want to go talk to the pretty girl. Kira. Yeah. So I saunter up to her. Mm. And I'm like, I hear you like killing things. It's my job, but I like it. You know what they say, if you do what you love, you never work a day yeah, in your life. Yeah, it's never, it's not, if you love it, it's not Right, it's not work, it's not work. <laughs> I kill a ton of shit all the time. I kill, I kill a ton of shit. In fact, I'm currently hired to kill someone. Who? Well, it's one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. I can't say who. Oh, I know a masked lord of Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean your friend Omen? Yeah, do you want it's to kill not, him? It's not Omen. Oh. Yeah, you would need to send an assassin to kill Omen. No, you would not. <laughs> you absolutely would not. No. He might. <laughs> he might. Doesn't rank. He might kill himself. At least not an assassin of my caliber. No. Jim has told me plenty about his incompetence. And I gotcha. There's no reason to send me after him. Oh. At this point, you hear a high-pitched scream uh, from from the other room, <laughs> and Diz calls for all of you to come to the study. And when you enter the study, it's Jim's office. Uh, but the thing you notice is that Jim is laying at his desk, face down, and Diz is standing next to him. And he says, oh, guys, Jim's dead. I mean, I mean, he's really dead, like, like for real dead. And he, he lifts up Jim's hand and lets it drop. Yeah. So I, I look at Omen, like, <laughs> <laughs> is he really dead? Yeah. So Omen, <laughs> you're standing next to Jim. You just did your check, and he is totally dead. Yeah. Uh, he's face down on his desk. Um, you can see that there's papers, scrolls scattered around. One of his hands is kind of stretched out. Uh, there's sort of a, it looks like a little mechanical bird on his desk. Um, and Diz is just bawling. He's just crying and clutching at Jim's cape. Right? I, you know, I will take Diz away. I'll kind of be like, Emma, come on, come on over here. Come on, don't, okay. don't look at this. Yeah, he, look, he lets you bring him over. Look, fish tank, right? Hey, let's, uh, is there a fish in this fish tank? We love these there? fish. Jim loves these fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You know, we, we, we take care of this all the time. He dies Who's like gonna all the time. Who's going to feed the fish? Jim always well, has a fish. You, let's Who's feed the fish right fish? now, man. I mean, I guess hey, I can feed the fish. It's yeah, not hard, but there's me, other things that Jim did too. Show, show me how to feed the fish, man. It's okay. He's going to show you. He's going to show okay. you where the food is kept. I'm going to fall kind of on top of Jim and sob. Okay. And then frisk him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, search the body. So as, as Ben was searching and I am ben trying was to... pulling doves out of Jim and just sort of letting them go. Uh, and just like throwing them off to the side. Yeah. Are these living doves? They're yeah. real no, death. No, could, living could all the doves be dead too? <laughs> <laughs> you pull... Oh no. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you notice that Jim's hand uh, his left hand is, is her, his right hand is tucked under his body, 
And his left hand that's sort of going, motioning towards the bird has his pointer finger out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So he's pointing at the bird? That's what it looks like. The bird, yeah, so, the bird yeah. is definitely the key. You, you go to investigate this bird. This bird, yeah, yeah, he's so pointing you, at the bird. So you tap it. You're not magical in any way. And uh, it's a little clockwork bird. And as soon as you touch it, its wings start to flap. You can see the gears. You can hear them whirring inside of it. And it says, password, password. As I'm, as I'm talking to, God, I can't think of his name. It's Diz. anything other than Jizz now. Um, Diz. <laughs> you know, I, I will kind of, you know, like, don't, he had a good life. You know, I'm sure, you know, he's really he off. So yeah, he's, he's, uh, yeah, there's a farm where he can run and play now. Um, <laughs> And he's really happy there. But I also, I kind of want to pump him for information. Like, what do sure. you know about his friends, you know? He, he turns and lays his head on your shoulder, and it's just soaking Aww. you with tears now. He says, I, I admit, I was going to be the killer. I was supposed to be the, the pretend killer. And he pulls out a flask. This was the poison. You were going to find it on me. And then he drinks it all. It's just no, sugar water. Just don't. It's just <laughs> sugar water. It's just sugar water. It was all pretend. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. How was it supposed to happen? Well, he wasn't supposed to really die. <laughs> Were there any other clues? I'm wondering if the killer tried to make it map as closely as possible to the scenario. Was there, were, there, were there clues in place around the mansion? No, Had you, you were supposed to find story? out he was poisoned, and then you were going to look in my cape, and I was going to have poison. So this was a very and short... And you were going to be like, hey, he poisoned Jim. It wasn't a mystery in the classic sense. I don't know. Jim is, Jim is very brilliant. He spent a long time working on that. Okay. <laughs> Months. It is. Did Jim ever talk to his bird? Oh, all the time, yes. What did he say? About his day, uh, about how stupid Binwin is, um, about how he saved your life, um, about how much he hates Viari, um, all how, kinds of stuff. How would he greet the bird? Did he call it something? He had a special password, but he always cast silence before he did it. Shit. We can figure this out. I look for a post-it on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a word written on it. Yeah. Um, probably just one word. Maybe with some capital letters and special some exclamation character. points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and over it it says password. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you see, you do find, a, uh, it looks like a torn piece of a scroll, and it says, magic mail password, uh, Jim Dark Magic. Hmm. Okay. Okay, but, that's but what I was going to guess. Is a, is a one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Actually, I hand that to him, and then I move 11 feet away. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's very specific. Driss. 11 feet. I take the bird, and I get, and I get underneath Jim's desk. <laughs> and I, password. And I say, Joe 1M... Dark magic. <laughs> Jim won him. Password, password. Jim Dark Magic. Password, password. You asshole. Password, password. <laughs> Try password. Yep. Have a magical day. Password, password. Winks. Jim Winks. Record or playback? Playback. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the tiny beak opens up as he sort of flutters up onto your shoulder, and he turns his little Dead clockwork beak, head yeah. to you. And Jim's voice comes out of the bird, and it says, "Hello, bird. Uh, another exciting day. I've received a package from Roger. I love Roger. He was such a great guy." And you hear the package sort of rustling. <laughs> Man, it's been a long time. So, oh my God! <laughs> and then there's just static. Okay, so we need to find this box. We need to find the package. And no doubt it was Jizz's job <laughs> to, um, to throw it away. Shit's so going to be shut down. That's so the next Diz Diz Iberon. Iberon? Diz Iberon. Iberon? <laughs> yeah. There's Jizz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. He doesn't deserve that. No, no. <laughs> so, so if we can talk to him about getting a hold of this thing, then we can do it. Now Kira can come in here and do whatever she wants. Because we actually know what the and problem is. And he cried is. on your shoulder, so your shoulder's all wet with jizz. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Score! What? So, I can also speak with dead, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I know a good trick that'll work. Uh, I Who look killed the, this man? I look at the crowd, and I go, Hey, Roger! <laughs> Make me a uh, deception check. Okay. 
Here we go, I'm gonna roll a high score. Holy shit, it's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a high score. All right, here, so, so you, you try to get a hold of the package. Okay, yeah. Where's the package? Also, I, I'm gonna I frisk. I put it on his desk. There he's laying, it looks like he would have fallen right on top of it. I mean, it, his, it was right his there. Le his left hand was clutching something, right? Mm, mm. Mm. His right hand was under him, yeah, left right, arm pointed right at hand. the bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I wasn't <clears throat> eager no, no, to, no. you know, if he's clutching. I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to see. A, I mean, because sometimes one doesn't know. People die. You're because, saying, you're, you know. you're talking about autoerotic <laughs> asphyxiation. So, give him back, I, I'm going to see what this, what this right hand is holding. So you, you push Jim up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you sort of push his corpse back. And, and it's okay if Kira's in here now, that's fine. Yeah, you see in his hand, he's, he's holding... A large purple gem. Ooh, Ooh looks like that. that. Oh, you had that with you? So you, you walk up to this thing and you can see <clears throat> that it's actually a, a black gem. It was like a, a black obsidian stone, but deep inside that of it there's purple this purple guy. glow. His yeah. Oh, maybe he's in here. Yeah. Like his spirit's in here. We just have to get it from here back into there. I, get, I bet you if you just smash this. No, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double X oh. to the gym. <laughs> uh, Kira's checking the bookshelf. Yeah, absolutely. And she sees uh, an old book. She pulls out a spell book, and a piece of paper sort of floats out of it onto the ground. She doesn't notice it. She's, she's too busy looking through the... I just run over, and I just I grab it, and then I run back to where I was. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little... Smooth. It's a little photo, and it's a photo of a very young Jim and what looks like a very young pathos at school. Um, you can see that Jim is holding a big trophy, <laughs> and it says, uh, number one oh, no. magic guy. <laughs> does, does pathos and then underneath it a... says, best at magic. Does Pathos, does magic is pathos a holding a smaller trophy? Pathos does not have a trophy. Oh. He's in the background sort of watching. He's very thin, like rail thin, gaunt. No big tummy? No big tummy. That's, oh, that's the front of it. It's just a photo. But it says, uh, Roger and I, 67. <gasps> Reveal. I flip it back over. It's still just a photo of Jim <laughs> and Patha. I flip it over again. It still just says Jim, Roger and Jim, 67. I flip it over and then I flip it over again real fast. Still just a picture and still just the inscription. <laughs> it turns into a dove and flies away. <laughs> At this point, Ben, when you notice Pathos creeping towards the desk. Yeah, dude, this is necromancy as fuck. <laughs> as a necromancer, the only one here skilled in the art of death, I think I should probably be the one to examine the gem. No. Uh, no. I don't think so, Roger. <laughs> what did you call me? I called you Roger because you went to school with him a long time ago and when you guys were young, and then I have a picture of you sort of looking at him from behind, getting kind of weird and looking kind of crazy. And, he, and Jim is holding the trophy, and so you're clearly mad at him about that still, for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, let me, let me, let me TLDR for you. You're not any, getting anywhere near this fucking gem. Finwin, stab him. Maybe the... <laughs> <laughs> I stab <laughs> him. You want to you attack him? I'll stab him with the dagger. It was a direct order. All right. I'm not smart enough to not just do whatever Omen tells me. <laughs> uh, I will next time. So you, you try to stab him, and he reaches down and, and uh, grabs your hand, looks at you and says, you think too highly of yourself, dwarf. And then with his other Whoa. hand, you see that he has sort of a hooked blade on his thumb. Of course. He jams it into his chest and starts tearing down the front of his robes. Oh, that's... They spill open and bones tumble out. And two skeletons rise up in front of him. I'm assuming this is fairly close quarters in it's here? A, yeah, it's a very small room. Everyone is sort of within range of everyone. And now that his, his robes are sort of hanging off of him in shreds, Ugh. you can see that this white, frail skin underneath, just Ugh. gaunt and emaciated. Yeah. So gross. <laughs> yeah. So you stab right into the center of him. Uh, and he reaches and he looks down at this sort of black ichor pouring out. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, and he says, this was going to be easy, but you've made it so hard now. <laughs> and I didn't mean that in a sexual <laughs> way. Like, <laughs> I realize now it's sort of weird. <laughs> no, 
Um, I do have an erection, but not because... <laughs> it's, it's not as a direct result. It's just whenever yeah. I'm in a room with a corpse, I get a little excited. I just leave the sword. I don't want to you ever know what? use it again. We can get you a new fucking sword. <laughs> just... Uh, next up, um, Kira. Uh, she looks at Pathos. She sees the fight going on over there. And she sidles up right behind Omen and tries to drive two swords into your back. No! Oh. <laughs> so two short swords appear out of your stomach. It's very surprising. Ouch. And, uh, and you, you feel the swords come, come into your back, and she whispers into your ear, uh, you just got Kirad. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on that. Yeah, yeah. workshopping it. Uh, there's a comment box out front. What did you think? Before you die, what do you think? One to ten. Uh -huh. uh, next is... Oh, Pathos. Uh, he raises a, a disgusting, hand, withered hand at you, Viari, uh, and he shouts, Ray of sickness! <laughs> you fail. You're poisoned now. Uh, you're going to be poisoned for a round. Okay. And do I take additional poison damage now, or...? Uh, I think it's at the start of the... the start of the round. Start of the round. Scabby boils appear yeah. on your ding You're just covered in pustules. Man, on your ding dong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, like, like over the hood of the General Lee, mm. I slide over Jim's desk. <laughs> <laughs> and from, from behind him in his chair, he is in front of me. He's dead. He can take damage, and it's okay. Sure. Um, <laughs> I cast, I have my hand around the front of him, and I have the gem, and I cast Speak With Dead okay. on Jim, and I say, Jim, how do I get you out of this fucking gem and put you back in your gym? <laughs> out of the gym gym? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and you hear Jim's voice. Yeah. He says, hello. No, 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 we don't you have to You've reached Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jim, I'm dead. No, no, if no, Jim. If you were a fan trying to reach me in the afterlife, Please press one. Jim. If you're a friend or loved one of Jim, please, please press two. I, I, if you're an enemy of Jim, please go away. <laughs> Is there a, I say two. You are a friend or family member of Jim. If you wish to communicate with him in the afterlife, please die and find him there. <laughs> That's my turn, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's no more messages. That's literally what I get when I try to talk to the dead Jim. He doesn't want to be bothered in the afterlife. Why don't you? It's vacation. Yeah. I will draw my scimitars and try to stick them through Kira. Oh, okay. So at, at this point, she's down on one knee. She looks up at you through the blood, her jaw just barely <laughs> hanging there. Okay. You just got drizzled. <laughs> Yeah, what's this Albert doing? Yeah, I kind of wonder if she's is she just sitting in oh, an yeah, armchair. Like... No, Mrs. Albert has, has fainted. Oh. oh, she's on the ground, completely fainted. Yeah. just out cold. It makes sense. Yeah, this is some weird shit. Can uh, I catch her before she falls? Yeah, you lower her gently with one hand. You just sort of reach out. Yes. Yeah, oh. while attacking. <laughs> the head flies off, and you're like, Zoom. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little irritated that uh, I attacked the necromancer and I'm covered in boils, oh, and Drizzt has managed to like save the fainting person into head behead someone. Oh yeah, it's been really impressive. Yeah, you know. But in I fact, there's a suit of armor behind Driz that all, all of a sudden just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Pathos uh, reaches out and grabs a hold of your arms, and you can feel him trying to drain your life force from you. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as he sort of does, you can see this disgusting smile come upon his face. I'm gonna rush at Pathos. Perfect for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I bring them all up. Like for, for, I bring them all up for one more hit. Okay. And then it's like, fuck it. I drop them all and I hold the gem out. The power of this, this spell is such that the kickback throws you back across Jim's desk <laughs> and you lose the hold of the gem and it falls to the floor. Oh, God damn it. All right. Can I <laughs> run up the wall, leap off the aquarium, yeah. bounce off the picture of Jim Dark Magic and land on top of the chandelier? 
I will stow my swords. Okay. I will pull out Talmaro, the bow given to me by my beloved. <laughs> and I wow. will take one shot at... At Pathos. 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 Pathos I thought it was going to be me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns into this streak of silver as it slams into his chest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's down on one knee now, cl clutching the, the arrow that's stuck in his stomach. And he falls down dead, right All on right. the floor. Uh, <laughs> and then you hear uh, a, a skeletal laugh as you notice the, the remaining skeletons mm -hmm. snatch up the Jim Jam and make a, a beeline for the door. Using I'm using War God's inspiration, so you go and it, it's, it glances away and then uh, the power of my god grants it Great. at the last second. Give me so you, you break him apart, yep. just click, 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 all the bones no, You have to down. get the gem before it falls. Like, you reach out and snatch the gem there's, there's before the it hits the ground. Yes. <laughs> so... I cast Magic Missile at Dritz. <laughs> <laughs> they automatically hit. Now that you have the gem, it's containing Jim's soul. It's just a matter of finding a wizard uh, and, you know, paying enough money. I guess to get the soul put back in the body. You could probably just like, I know a wizard. Yeah, just touch it. No, There's no, like door. put it in him, right? Isn't that how it works? I, put it in his mouth. Yeah. I really thought. Or. Really, you put it in his butt. 